friends one and all let's come together let's break down those walls we're gonna listen we're gonna learn having fun all the way somebody said let's listen and learn together let's sing and learn forever let's listen learn together let's listen sing and learn hello boys and girls ladies and gentlemen we're gonna read some bird books get in your most comfortable seat it's time for story time with miss literacy our first book is about three hens and a peacock written by lester lamanek illustrated by henry cole let's go inside things were quiet on the tucker's farm the cows chewed their cud the hens clucked and pecked and laid their eggs the old hound stretched out on the porch watching and listening once in a while someone would stop to buy tomatoes or corn perhaps a quart of milk nothing unusual happened there until that peacock showed up there he is the cows and the hens and the old hound kept right on doing what they always done but that peacock had never lived on the farm he had no idea what to do so he spread his fancy feathers and set to shrieking eventually the peacock wandered down the road when cars whizzed by he shook his feathers and cried out in his loudest voice of course folks stopped for a closer look I would do. Day after day, more folks stopped to admire the peacock, and they all brought tomatoes and corns and eggs and milk. Business on the Tucker farm was booming. Everyone seemed happy to have visitors stopping by. That beautiful fan of feathers on the peacock. But trouble was brewing in the hen house. The hens were squawking and clucking and flapping their wings. We do all the work around here. I'd like to see that peacock lay one single egg. Exactly. He just struts around screaming. I suppose fancy feathers are more important than laying eggs. That lazy peacock gets all the attention and we do all the work. The peacock had heard every word. For days, he moped about, moaning and groaning. I wish I could be more useful around here. Hmm. Clucked the one hen. The others ruffled their feathers. The old hound stretched and slowly raised his head. Why not let the peacock stay here to be useful while you hens take the glamorous job down the road? You think they'll survive? The three hens began clucking to one another. What a wonderful plan. Yes, it's a fabulous idea. Oh, ladies, we simply must fancy up our feathers tonight. And nothing but our brightest beaks, bangles, and bows. We'll stop traffic for sure. Why, you girls know I can strut with the best of them. The peacock perked up. Let's do it, he declared. Tomorrow I'll stay here, sit on a nest, and cluck. And we'll get all guzzied up, said the hens. We'll be so glamorous. At sunrise, so next morning, the hens strutted down the road. The peacock marched right to the hen house and poked his head inside. I don't know if this is going to work. The hens flocked by the road, waiting for a car. When they saw one approaching, they clucked and they squawked and flapped their wings in a flurry of feathers. But every car whizzed right by. The peacock sucked in his tummy and wiggled from left to right, trying to squeeze through the tiny hen house door. I don't know if that's going to work either. His front half was in. His back half was out. 
Down by the road, those hens tried every chicken trick they knew. Still, no car stopped. Finally, the peacock made it into the hen house. He held his breath and pushed with all his might. But no matter how hard he tried, he could not lay a single egg. Not one. The old hound stretched out on the porch, waiting and listening. What's that peacock doing in the hen house? asked Farmer Tucker. Who knows, said Miss Tucker. And what are those hens doing down by the road? Not a one of them is up here laying eggs. Well, the way things are going, we aren't likely to have anyone buying eggs today, said Farmer Tucker. We need that peacock down there stopping those cars. When the peacock heard that, he smiled, the biggest smile you ever saw on a bird's beak. I am helping, he thought. He squirmed back and forth until he popped out of the cramped hen house. Then he strutted off to find the hens. The exhausted hens were all clucked out. Every feather was out of place. <sighs> what a day. We couldn't get one car to stop. It's true. Why, most of them didn't even slow down. The peacock met the hens as they trudged up the road. I can tell you I'm no good at laying eggs, he said. I'm just not meant for it. One hen nodded. I put on my Stella strut and even I couldn't stop a single car she said. I have to hand it to you. Fancy feathers, your job is harder than it looks. The other hens agreed. The peacock looked relieved. So the hens marched back to the hen house. The peacock strutted down to the road and the old hound stretched out on the porch, watching and listening. And things were quiet again on the Tucker's farm. And that is the end of Three Hens and the Peacock. Yes, written by Lester L. Lemonac. Did you enjoy that? Then I need you to get excited. Come on, get those hands up. Woo -woo. Get those hands up. Or if you want to go, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. come on, come on, come on. All right, this is our last book today. And it's called The Quirky Bird and Other Feathered Friends. <laughs> You're going to like this book. Emu is a quirky bird. Duckling thinks she's quite absurd. Emu, duckling. Pelican scoops and Kingfisher dives. Both are hungry for the prize. Pelican, Kingfisher. Toucan sits high in the tropical trees and laughs at the flamingo's knobbly knees. Flamingo, toucan. Hummingbird flits to and fro. Sleepy owl likes things slow. Owl, hummingbird. Parrots really love to fly. Plucky penguin can but try. There are your parrots, there's your penguin. Simple penguins, short and gray, are dazed by peacock's tail display. There's the beautiful peacock, and there are the pigeons. And if you look at this book, it'll show you all of the animals, one by one. And that is the end, boys and girls, of the quirky bird. All right, great. I, I enjoyed that as well. So we look forward to seeing you at our next story time. I'm so glad you tuned in to Learn and Grow with me. It's been a pleasure. I hope you can agree. We learned a lot and we opened the doors of your minds to grow. Somebody said, Miss Sheila, please come again. Well, I'll see you again next time. I'll see you again next time. See you next time. And don't forget to read, 
learn and grow. Hope you enjoyed boys and girls. See you on the next one. We have more videos like this, so stay tuned. Don't forget. If you like this video, please like and subscribe.